I don't know about top, but maybe about middle of the morning to you. For the morning roundup, I didn't print a lot of stuff last night because I was mainly focusing on painting and this guy and a bunch more stuff in the other room. But uh, I did do the Sharky boy and he's looking pretty good over there. Also, I did a ton of recycling, <clears throat> which was very necessary. Chihuahua boy did in fact get done. Glad his ears came out okay. I was a little worried about that. Just gotta remove the supports and stuff. I think we're gonna make him gold. Time to get this little guy out the door. I had just enough bubble wrap to do this sharky, but we gotta make some more. You know what time it is. Bam! Got a little orange frog bowl here. I really hope they post a review with the picture because I kind of want to see this in action. This one's high priority, so I'm taking it to the post office myself. Oh man, a freaking wasp just flew in my car. All right, I think I got it to leave. Clines in the afternoon. It's a warm one today. I think the AC is going out in my car. I might have to add Freon, which would be a fun little thing to do for a video. I should do a video or a segment at least on this car because it was the ultimate buy. There's a whole story behind it. It's a very special froggy right there. Actually been a bit since we did the Duncan D's. I think it is time. Oh yeah. I, the body is ready. I, open Duncan, I think I'll just get that uh, cold brew with cream, large. All right, what a finger feed today. That'll be it. The body is ready and the spirit is willing. Look at that, look at that. It's a lot of coffee right there. This sounds a little wild, and I'm not like dead set on this, but um, kind of considering maybe in a couple of years spending some time in Buenos Aires, Argentina, because you can live there for like seven, eight hundred dollars a month, and that's like a pretty solid standard of living. If I'm making money from these YouTube videos and stuff. I mean, that's pretty realistic. Plus, I could maybe do some kind of remote work. There's 3D design things I could do. I've saved up like quite a bit of money from doing this business for six years. And it just seems like, I don't know why I'm not doing it. I actually used to have a girlfriend and we used to talk about, um, she was Mexicana. We used to talk about going to uh, Buenos Aires for a long time. And it just seems like it's pretty safe, you know. It's it's debatable, but Argentina is kind of like one of the best Latin American countries in a lot of categories. Plus Javier Malay is pretty cool. So I don't know, I'm just playing around with the idea, but I think it actually would be pretty cool. Personally, I've never known any Argentinians. I've known a couple Brazilians. I have a really different take than some when it comes to immigration. Honestly, Hispanics in general, I love them. I think they're like amazing people. The only thing that really actually to me is bad about immigration generally is just the drug cartels and stuff that can also get in. So you do have to have like some kind of controls. But I mean, I live in Texas. I'm around Hispanic people all the time and they're fantastic. Like family people, good values, hardworking. I just do not understand. I don't get for the life of me why anybody doesn't like these people. Almost forgot, we gotta get some boxes. Let's go. I find myself always wanting to get a new doormat when I come to this spot. Boxed. Don't get me wrong, I like what I do, and this is fun. It's been fun for six years, but I'm not sure I really wanna work the rest of my life all day long.
forever. Okay, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I do have the rule that I eat out only on the 1st and 15th, but I am not a perfect man, even though it seems like I am. So there's this New Mexican restaurant that just opened up. It's pretty cheap, and I'm gonna eat there because you can't be principled all the time. El Botanero. Honestly, I probably never should have watched Ferris Bueller's Day Off because it just really glamorizes the appeal of just jettisoning all of your responsibilities and just having fun. Beerians tacos. I think beans, another taco, that's the stuff. We got some guacamole, very good. Look, I ain't gonna lie, that was a little naughty, but so worth it. Nacogdoches has insanely authentic Mexican food. Different, you know, Salvadorian food, the whole thing. And I am here for it. It's officially time to ship this incredible humidor. I think I showed you in the last episode. Some guy bought that for 100 bucks. I got it for 20. But to say goodbye, I think we need to smoke a bow. She's a very beautiful woman. The first step to writing is to write. Once more, we play our dangerous game. With that very sweaty farewell, let's package this bad boy up. With shipping label, uh, $6 something, we can round it up to seven. That's 27 bucks all in for that humidor, which I sold for a hundred bucks, almost three to one profits. Got some supplies in. This is filament extruder purge material. I was thinking that maybe some of the difficulty I've had with filament was from the extruder having buildup in it. And you buy this stuff to clean it basically. And I thought I had some, but I ended up having to order it. This is some more of that film I make the bubble wrap with. So Philobot and Massive Dimension are the same company. This is the first thing Philobot ever sent me that just works. All right, let's give Chihuahua Boy his glow up. So with the purge, you wanna just kinda of Maybe not totally fill this up, but something like halfway. While that's going, let's finish up Chiwa. This is starting to look like a Chihuahua. Oh yeah. Look at that. It gets all the gunk out of it. Eventually it starts running like this. But this is just like taking a scrubber and scrubbing the inside of the barrel here. Just getting all the particulate matter. Especially with recycled material, you need to do this a little more often than you normally would. He's looking pretty good, but let's just heat gun and get everything. Does this count as a belly rub? There we go. Man, this guy's gonna look good. Paint it up. Time to actually paint up the coffee cup and everything. This is the splash object. Oh yeah, you wanna do this with a nozzle. I mean, it probably works either way, but you usually do the two millimeter nozzle with the three millimeter nozzle, whatever the bigger one is, because I think that compresses the material in the barrel better and scrubs better. Splash object is looking pretty good. Let's do the, um, the cup itself. Right, it's Monday. So that means we're gonna review how we did this week. I've said this before, exactly a week ago. This represents how many new products were introduced during this week. The idea is to try and get one per day, but this week we got three, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. 
I want to do better than that. At the same time, we caught up on a lot of stuff this week. It was worth it, but let's try and get more products this time. In addition to the Chihuahua Boy, here is the Red D20 trash can. You remember it before it was painted a few episodes ago, but this is gonna be its own product. Here's the coffee cup. Came out a little stringy, but really overall, this is pretty excellent. This is going on top of a Volkswagen bug for a parade. And there we go, cleaned up very nicely. What a pristine custom project. I figured we would get a uh, shot of the two bolted together before they're painted. Pretty cool. That definitely looks splashy. Whoa, I was just doing the coffee cup and we got an email from Etsy customer service. They reinstated my listings. Yes. I also had some friends and customers message them. So maybe that's part of it. Listen, I sent them this YouTube series so they could actually see me making stuff. Like I am not drop shipping this. This is a thing I made. Yeah, eat that customer service. Ugh. Cleaning process is completed. Look at all that gunk it managed to get out. Plus all this. A little before the series, I introduced this Socrates wastebasket and we did the black and white fade version, but I think we're going to make him gold and introduce that as a separate product. Okay, it's laid out. Um, this is probably gonna be the last clip, but I think I just figured out something important with the filament extrusion. This thing kept happening um, where it would extrude really, really thin and make this sort of clicking sound. Clicking is maybe overstating it but I think I figured out the solution to that. So this is what it looks like with the nozzle off. That's running it in forward. And you'll see it's working now. What was happening before was it just wasn't pushing out. And so what I did is I took a screwdriver and I put it down in through the hopper like this to this point, which is where the pellets go to get fed into the screw, which pushes the molten plastic out here. So I was putting this down here because I thought maybe some kind of piece of plastic or something was getting caught, making it so that the pellets couldn't fall down through here. And I messed with this and made sure it's all mixed up down here. And then it started working and nothing else worked before. What that's telling me is I need to make smaller recycling pieces, probably. I mean, I think my piece size is mostly fine. It's just every once in a while you get a piece that's a little bit too big and it kind of jams up in the thing and, and the plastic can't come through. So I've been messing with this. This has been happening for like a week or two and I think I finally figured out how to fix it. So that's nice.